Hello, my beautiful Capricorns. Welcome back. How are you guys? Um, I am here today to bring you another monthly vibes reading. This is going to be for the month of July, cancer season. Um, for those of you who are tuning in for the very first time, I do want to say a big warm welcome. I'm also on Instagram, so feel free to connect with me over there where I do offer a variety of separate readings over on my IGTV channel. So if that speaks to you, I will leave a description on how to connect with me over there in the descriptions box below. So Capricorn, how have you been? Hey, how are all my Capricorns going? So let's take a look and see what cards came out for you for the month of July, guys. We've, we've got the Two of Cups, the Four of Wands in the reverse, the Seven of Pentacles, the Nine of Wands in the reverse, the Three of Swords and the Tower. Okay, so I'm, I'm picking up strongly this is a strong relationship love story, okay? That's just what I see in the cards and that's what I'm picking up here. So we have with the Two of Cups, this is two people that are really fond of each other. Okay, these two people in this in the image here are really fond of each other. Okay, there is an emotional connection between these two people. So Capricorn, I feel this is someone strong in your environment that you have a strong emotional connection to, or um they have a strong emotional connection to you, but I feel this this is mutual. Okay, I do feel it's mutual. I do feel it's a love story. I feel it's someone perhaps that you may have known for quite some time. Or they or or for some of you this could be someone new, okay, that comes into your environment in July that appears to be on the same page as you, okay? This person is everything you want or so they appear to be all right um this could be fresh for some of you for others of you this is someone that you have been connected to for quite some time that's what i feel i feel like there is history between you two um but for others of you this is someone new that comes in that that feels like a soulmate okay they feel like a soulmate. You are very passionate towards this person. Um, and it is emotional connection. It's an emotional connection. Now, right next door to that, we have the four of wands, but it's in the reversal. So I'm sensing here that Things are changing up a bit within this connection, okay? I'm feeling like there's two people in this love story that don't feel happy. I just want to say that, okay? They don't feel happy. At one point, they were happy. They had eyes for each other. There was a strong emotional connection. But the environment in which they're in isn't right, like, what's the unhappiness, guys? Because the structure or the foundation of this relationship isn't solid, okay? I feel for some of you that it's it's unfortunately not going to go the distance, okay? It's not going to go the distance. For others of you, um, this pertains to a broken home or a broken relationship, I do want to say, all right? If you live together with this person, I don't see you living with this person. I do see someone moving out, all right? I do see someone, um, you know, not really invested in this connection or relationship or love story, whatever you want to call it, okay? Just there is two people here that had or have an emotional connection, but really, really, the, the the connection isn't solid. It's not solid. I feel for a lot of you Capricorns, it may have resulted in a lot of hard work, okay, to keep this connection. 
I do want to jump to this card here, the Nine of Wands in reverse, tells me that um, someone has, someone is internalizing this connection and it just feels like it's a lot of hard work and effort to maintain this relationship. But I feel like someone stepping away from this, someone stepping away from this and someone is hurt. Okay, someone is hurt, I do want to say. Now, with the Seven of Pentacles here, I do see you, Capricorn, looking at what you have with this person or what you've built together with this person and just reflecting on on, on what you had together, okay? I do see you just sort of stepping back and reflecting on what you had together, okay? I do see you being quite sad about this. I do see you thinking about whether you should invest any more time and energy into perhaps rebuilding this, but you're just looking at this at your relationship or at this connection thinking where did it go wrong what wasn't solid here and i feel that you will get your answer because there is this pentacle at your feet here and i feel that this pentacle will give you the answer this pentacle holds the answer to what what happened here You're also looking at this pentacle going, now do I pick that up and do I continue putting in the energy in the, and the effort to grow this connection? But I'm feeling like someone has walked out, someone has stepped away, okay? Someone is hurt here. We've got the three of swords. This is sadness, okay? Someone is heartbroken. Someone's heartbroken, it could be a third party energy. There could be someone that has come into this scenario and disrupted, disrupted um, this emotional bond. Okay, for some of you, someone has cheated here. Someone there, this can speak of an affair. All right, but overall, I'm just feeling a sense of heartbreak and sadness, okay? If it's not a third party energy, it, because third party energies or third parties or affairs and cheating isn't gonna happen for everybody, isn't gonna speak directly to everybody, but what I do know is that there is sadness and heartbreak over this situation. Okay, because you did invest a lot into this Capricorn. You don't go in willy-nilly. When you make your mind up, you make your mind up. All right. Now, for others of you, I do want to say that there is someone in this situation that comes in and, um, you know, breaks down that emotional connection. And as a result, we have the tower moment, okay? This is an unexpected, you may not have seen this coming. You may not have seen this coming, guys. All right, but I do want to say that this transformation and this change had to happen because the foundation of this emotional connection just wasn't right. I'm feeling like um, I'm feeling like that the this connection. You both had different goals. Okay, maybe your goals didn't match. Maybe your future plans didn't align. And you're looking at this going, well, I I want this, but my person didn't want the same things as me, all right? 
and and that's why the the connection wasn't completely sold or solid all right because you both had different goals you you both had different plans you ha- you both had different expectations of this relationship and yeah that creates sadness because initially initially okay this person felt like your soulmate like you could go the distance with this person but look there are changes unfolding capricorn i do want to say with this tower moment it it's you're not going to expect it but it's very it's very necessary okay it's very necessary to sort of just get you to step back and assess assess how you how different you both really were all right um you both just want you both just wanted different things that's it one, it's like this, guys. It's like one of you wanted a house. One of you wanted to buy a house and have their marriage. And the other one wanted to probably just travel. Okay? It could have been just different goals. Initially, you both had that connection, but you just wanted different things in life. And um, that wasn't going to make for, for a strong, solid commitment or future. So, but... The good news is, is that this is going to help you grow. And with the transformation card, transformation is awesome. You know, welcome transformation because outside of this tower card, like after this tower card, you're going to come out a different person. That is a guarantee. That's a given, right? It's a contract. It's a given. So look forward to that, guys. Look forward to what comes out from this because you, you will change. You both will change. It's both going to change you both. So there you have it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this reading. Feel free to leave your likes. And until next time, I'll speak to you soon.